Moving on over to the Jack of the Week, I had a question here that I saw, and I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about workflows a little bit. And I'm not going to answer the question directly or, or answer the question exactly how it is, right? But it got me thinking, right? Block status is not in your workflows. And, and I kind of wanted to get your thoughts, Ronnie, is what are your techniques? Like, like how do you and your teams talk about a status of block? Like, do you do block status? Like, let me rephrase. How do y'all block your issues? Like, how do you identify your impediments? I, my favorite thing to do, and I've not seen this comment out there, it's people prefer to have a block status rather than what I want to propose here. What I like to do is I like to have a checkbox field called blocked that just has one option. Yes. No, no. You click that option. If it's blocked, you don't click it. If it's not. Okay. It's a flat. It's a, essentially becomes a Boolean flag that you can click. It's quick to do. Um, you can do it from even the view screen and it allows you to say, this is in this status, but it's also blocked. It doesn't put it in an entirely separate status where you lose the context of where was it at in the workflow when it became blocked. Yeah. So, so I used to be a huge, pretty big proponent of the black block status, but only probably because that's just the way I grew up. Like in most of my career, like that's what we all did. Mm-hmm. Then a team, a different team that I went to, we <laughs> used a priority of yeah. Bob's so, got my back. <laughs> yeah. So then we then we went to the priority field, right? Adding like a priority of blocker. But most recently, as of like maybe a month or two, this is the way that I I pitch it right now is. There's a flag feature inside of Jira, and all you got to do is right-click on that issue and add a flag. And what I really like about it is that it actually turns the whole thing like a different color. So as you're, as you're glancing at your board, it's like very, very obvious front and center. What's the problem? And, and let me just do a quick demo here for in case anybody hasn't seen it before. You just got to go into, into your board. You can right-click on this, and there's an add flag section right here. All you got to do is do that. And notice how you can add a comment. So stuck, help. I'll do the, the hipster way of doing this, help. And then it turns it yellow, right? And then you can, of course, search for this in your JQL, create filters and do all kinds of um, you know reports and stuff on it later. But I really, really like this method. I think I prefer now over this block status. And um, you know when, when the author here tells us that it's an anti-pattern, you got to listen to the author. <laughs> <laughs> authoritative figure right bob i mean it is an anti-pattern it is counterintuitive and the thing that bothers me is you lose so much context where was it you now have to go dig into history to figure out okay where was this what when did it become blocked all this because it's an entirely new status yeah Um, but what i but what i like about doing the status is that i always enable the time in status functionality so i'm now tracking kind of like well how long have we been blocked for but at the end of the day, whatever technique you pick, the important thing, though, is you got to be able to flag your or identify mm-hmm. your blockers because that is going to be like your kryptonite, right? You you got to figure out how to enable your team to get some traction to remove those impediments. Otherwise, you're just hurting and you're going to you're asking for trouble. So I urge you, if you're watching this, try the flag method. It's my new favorite way. It's Bob approved. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters at this point. All right, so that is the Jack of the 